This whole episode is just going to be me saying penis pumps over and over again. Games and guns, the show where we play video games and shoot guns and all that good stuff. Today we've got my lovely girlfriend, Rachel Arado, with us. Uh, Rachel is works for Americans for Prosperity and also uh, blogs at uh, bananarepublican.co. So make sure you check out her work. She's as brilliant as she is beautiful. So this hi, Rachel. <laughs> No. How dare you? That How is dare you? no. Stop it. Today we're gonna to be playing some Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm getting killed. You're getting I... killed. Before you moved down here to lovely Washington D.C. area, yes. you used to live in New Jersey. I in did. Dirty Jersey. I lived in the now famous or infamous Fort Lee. Yes. Gate. What is the scandal? Uh, so well, supposedly, um, during his re-election, which he <laughs> won on the land side, he um, or his staff took some political revenge on the Fort Lee mayor um, for not, I guess, endorsing him um, by uh, causing traffic, I guess. Right, and, and he, I mean, he says yeah. that it was all just his, um, yeah, his staff. you know, his menacing staff is... Those darn kids, they all plotted against this random mayor uh, without telling him. Nobody, Just like Obama, nobody ever tells him anything that they're doing, apparently, in his own administration. Yeah. And so that's his like excuse for why people shouldn't be so mad at him. I guess he, he did end up firing a couple people over this, right? Um, yeah, yeah, As I shoot yeah. at a dead body. He's been trying to handle it. I don't know if you caught this, but he started his um, State of the State address today by apologizing for what happened and taking responsibility for his staff. Well, I mean, that's... At least he did that, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was actually very contrite, even though, as many people on Twitter pointed out, he was very Obama-like in his sort of passive voice. But, um, but no, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not the biggest Christie fan, but I thought he seemed pretty sincere. I, I don't think he's that sincere in all this. I don't. I think it's a lot of crap that he didn't know about it. He, he's there's no way he didn't know about political reprisals being taken against his opponents. I, I kind of hate everything about this story. Steve, stop talking. I had to kill a dog. Oh, you killed a little dog. Let's just take a, so mean. Some more. How would you do I such a thing? Up. I deserved it. I deserved it. Poor dog. Sorry, dog. For me, I hate everything about this story. Um. <laughs> Just from from the like petty tyranny of what Christie and his staff did to I mean a lot of conservatives were willing to sort of buy this nonsense that oh Christie had no I had no idea about anything that's happening in my administration at any time you nobody would buy that from a Democrat or especially from Obama so why yeah. you know why should I buy it from Christie even if I you know I, I somewhat like Christie. I don't, mm -hmm. he's not my favorite, but, I, you know, I'm just not buying that. He's a, still a politician. He's lying his ass off. Yeah. Um, and there's yeah. a lot of it to do, to lie off. So, <clears throat> and then I also hate the ridiculous media obsession with the whole thing. Like, this is not the biggest story on the planet. MSNBC did a whole hour special on this ridiculous story last night. Yeah. And it's clear, clearly because they, because Christie's a, a popular famous Republican. Mm -hmm. They they spent like two days on that Robert Gates story about how Obama basically lied to everybody about his strategy for Afghanistan. That was a two day story, but Christie shutting down a bridge, that's a three week story. Like, give me a break. That was the laggiest game of Call of Duty I've ever played, by the way. Just take the ferry. You also gotta take the ferry to Manhattan. It's easier. <laughs> you really well, care about the environment, take the ferry. That is the uh, a tip from the from an insider right there. Take the ferry. Oh my god, this is so laggy. This is terrible. This is, see, this is just like what those people in Fort Lee were experiencing. The slight lag in this game is exactly like that traffic jam. And I can now I can see why it's the biggest story ever because this is awful. Yeah. You know what else is a big story? Big throbbing story so far this week. We're spending lots and lots of money on penis pumps. As a country, as a as a government, a lot of money. 
going towards penis pumps now. And this was uncovered by our friend Lachlan Markey over at the uh, Washington Free Beacon, but apparently we spent something like $175 million on uh, penis pumps for Medicare patients. Well, it was over. It was over like five years. Don't exaggerate. You know, don't enlarge yeah. the importance of it. <laughs> I guess. I guess that well, makes you know. it better. For some reason, Medicare has decided that penis pumps need, are an important thing that need to be uh, paid for by taxpayers. I'm all for it. If I should ever need a penis pump, I would hope that the good citizens of the United States would buy it for me. They're paying something like double the retail price too, so. Everybody's yeah, winning. Okay. Oh, I just shot you. Sorry. Hey, don't shoot me. I also shot well, you. But the thing is, it was Medicare Part B, so really we should blame Bush for this, for the enlargement of... The penis the pumps are Bush's fault, is what you're saying. Blame Bush. Blame Bush. No penis pump, no peace. I'm going to be storming, storming the National Mall with their interests. Penis pumps in hand. Oh, low-hanging fruit, Stephen. <laughs> You're going for the Very low hanging, hanging apparently. This episode is going to break a record for number of times the penis has been set on it. Yeah, I hope my parents don't find it, or <laughs> else it's over between you and me. I'm sure that your parents would oppose taxpayer subsidized penis pump. They don't leave the Philippines for this kind of shenanigans, so <laughs> they came here for freedom, not for this. Taxpayer subsidized. Penis pumps are a form of freedom. I was about to say they're a form of bondage, but I won't say that. Everything I know about penis pumps I learned from uh, Austin Powers. All I know is that it's not my bag. That's not oh God. I need an internet connection pump. Stiffen up my uh, internet. Um, Make me not stop. so laggy. Where you at, government? Where you at? Didn't they say each one costed, like, Close to like what two hundred fifty dollars when it could have been like one hundred and sixty or something like that. Wait, wait did that's you like say costed? Of, that's a lot of money for. I mean, it's just a pump, right? So. Can we go back for a moment, see. though? Uh, hmm? Did you say costed? Uh, you said I hope costed. Not. I would like everyone watching to know that this this young lady has a master's in English from Notre Dame. She just said costed on this show. Well, I'm, I'm busy playing video games that I'm bad at. So. I'm grammar shaming you. Is that grammar? I don't oh. even know. I, I definitely don't have a master's in English. Oh, God, a dog. Oh a dog God. killed me. You'll be happy to know that a dog just ripped out my throat and oh, I wasn't able to shoot Stephen. it. Stephen, just so you know, you can say that. So you can say costed. No, costed oh my is gosh. not. What? <laughs> You will be glad to know that I was not able to kill the dog that tried, that killed me, that ripped my throat out. Since you Good. you dislike when I kill these dogs in this game. Good. Episode ruined. Ruined by lag. Like most things in life. Oh my gosh. Penis lag. Traffic lag. It's all comes around the lag. Trying to avoid lag. Speaking of penis pumps, uh, let's talk about A Rod. Alrighty. I haven't really been following much this season. So. We have no idea what happened to a -Rod. That's going to make talking about this topic really hard if you don't know anything about A-Rod being suspended from baseball for a year. Never doping. Nothing? Everything comes back to the penis pump in this episode, I think. I think everything doesn't go back to the penis everything pump. Everything goes back everything to penis pumps. I've Archman. declared it. Let me explain why the connection between the A-Rod story and the penis pump. Like uh, A-Rod's doping guy said, if everyone is doing it, then it's it's only fair if, if he does it as well. And so that's why we have to subsidize penis pumps with federal taxpayer money. Because if everyone's pumping the penis, then we need to make sure that the poor and the elderly have the ability to do that as well. All I'm saying is that the federal government is like the Oprah of penis pumps. You get a penis pump, you get a penis pump, and you get a penis pump. Everybody gets a penis pump. Everybody gets a penis pump. Die, bitch. Sorry. I That's, killed two guys and I didn't die. Isn't that this exciting? is a family show, Rachel. You can't just yell out die, bitch, at any moment. It's a family show. This is wholesome entertainment. Discussing important topics of the day. And you're just out there screaming out obscenities. Oh, I got a dog! I get a dog! Hold on. Dog. Aww. Dog time. It's like your dream come true in this game. Oh my gosh! I got a dog! Where's the 
Where is a, it? Oh, a murder it. stone oh, follows you. you around. I might get killed because I'm looking at my dog. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey, there you are. Where's your dog? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, you see. Oh, oh, and I got that. I oh. got killed by oh. looking at your dog. Oh, no. Oh, okay. My dog killed that guy. <laughs> okay, we're good. Look at you two. Oh, hey. I'm going to follow you and your dog around. Oh, there he is. See what you do. Oh, there's a guy. Kill him. There he is. Good job. Oh, God. Oh, your dog died. Oh, uh, and you died. I'll Did avenge you. Oh, I died too. This is why I love you, because you pwn at Call of Duty. You pwn in the noobs, and that's why that's why I love you. Oh, okay. Noted. I'm right here, hey, right next hey, to you. Hey, what, you what are you doing after this? Hey. <laughs> are you hitting on me inside of this video game? Uh, yeah, that's like the real world these days. Hey, hey girl, come with me. Follow me. You, you went. You ran exactly you... opposite way that I'm going. <laughs> Said follow me, and you were like, "No, get away from hey, me, hey, freak!" Hey. Just like real life. Get... Oh, oh, we lost. We lost because of my lag. Because the government wouldn't subsidize my <clears throat> lag pump treatment. Hey, I beat you, like by a lot. Oh, you did really well. Thirteen kills. I'm not sure that we can be together anymore. Now that you're better than me in Call of Duty. It's like you're wearing the pants and I don't like that. You're wearing the controller and it's not sitting well with me. I'm wearing the headset. <laughs> you're wearing the penis pump. Wait, no. That was too no. much. No. That was too much. I'm sorry. I apologize immediately. I immediately regret my words. Oh, I'm a terrible boyfriend. But, uh, oh, yeah. A-Rod. Let's talk about the... I didn't get to talk about gay rod or homoerotic action. That's... Apparently going on in that the subplot in that story, which I know you're dying to talk about that. What, yeah. What, so what's going on? Oh, I mean, I feel like this is kind of old news, right? Don't we already know that? Oh. What's it? Hey, Rod. That's how I feel about whenever there's like a steroid star. I'm like, eh. I feel like we already knew. Like when they go, when they like double their home runs for like a year. Right. Something going on. If you watch this uh, interview with his his doping dude. He um, more or less, he makes it. It seems like he's banging a rod, is is how he's helping enhance his performance. Is by, it's by banging him. Like he's getting meat injections instead of like steroid injections. <laughs> die, die, all of you. Yes, you are dead. I'm just glad for my friend Lachlan, uh, Marky, who's whose Google alert finally paid off with that penis pump story. The government's awful. Yep, it only wants you to have something. It wants you to have penis pumps, but no automatic weapons. What is with that? Yeah. It'll buy you a penis yeah. pump, but it won't let you own an automatic weapon. I would ask you this. What's more dangerous, a 65-year-old man with a penis pump or me with an automatic weapon? Oh. What is more of a threat to society? A 65-year-old man with a penis pump contributes far more to the decline of society than me with an automatic weapon. And I think that is just obvious. Uh -huh. Automatic weapon. There was a story. They said that the newest thing in Japan is old people porn. Do you think that there's like a Fast and Furious scandal, but for like the penis pumps that they got here? <laughs> <laughs> then they're like shipping them to Japan. That's what I think is happening. You wouldn't even have to change the name for that, Fast and Furious. Spring I'm just disturbed by that last comment, so I'm going to try to avoid vomiting now for a while. You knifed yeah. the guy that knifed me. That's true love. Imagine being like the technician at the penis pump company. It's kind of like the guys who made the atomic bomb. It's like you just know the things that you maybe don't want to happen are happening. Yeah, it's, like, what, it's like that quote from Oppenheimer. I am become I death, destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all felt that way at one point or another. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the penis pump subsidizer. That's how he should feel. Specifically the world inside of my head. It's destroyed now. Because I know about this. I mean, you can never unknow it. You know, like three knives. Three knivings. Knivings. Stabbings. 
Knivings. Uh, remember, remember, ladies and gentlemen, this woman has a master's in English from Notre Dame. It's hard to think when you're killing dudes. Much like a flaccid elderly man's penis, this show is pumped out. Thank you for being on. <laughs> Crap this whole episode. My lovely girlfriend, Rachel Harado, who, whose material you can read at uh, bananarepublican.co, uh, which I'm not sure, but it's probably not filled with as much talk of penis pumps as this show was. No, but, I don't talk about it at all. 